Well, the winds gradually diminish after sunset, but between now and about 8 p.m. still could see some 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts and minor tree damage. There are some power outage reports coming in. The latest data just after 6 p.m. shows you over 2000 customers in Lucas County without power. Now, relatively speaking, that's only 1% of the county, but if you happen to be one of those who is affected, hopefully that'll come on soon as the winds calm down tonight. Sandusky County south and east of the Maumee River, just as we expected a greater percentage at about 9% without power and in Wood County less than 1000 customers or in other words 2% of the county is without power. Now you may remember that ice storm we got a few weeks back that impacted southeastern Michigan. We saw numbers over 50% without power as a result of that, which goes to show that ice is even more potent than the wind. Wind reports as well as severe weather reports that we talked about earlier as an active weather system impacted a good portion of the country. Our wind reports here have included a Toledo Express Airport report of 55 mile an hour winds and you won't believe the next one. This one comes right along the lake. We saw some winds over the lake 74 miles an hour at the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge. Of course, with less friction over the open waters, the winds can grow a little bit stronger, but that is still quite potent through the evening. Winds will diminish 8 p.m. Seeing 35 mile an hour gusts calmer than it is right now. By midnight, look at this significant improvement in the winds. There's not going to be any more power outages after midnight tonight. Heading towards your Sunday morning, the winds down to the double digits, even the single digits to the west of Toledo as we make way for a calmer conclusion to the weekend. Here's the storm system that brought us the wet and windy weather, low pressure moving over the thumb of Michigan, heading to the north and northeast. And look at that spinning away. You can see the counterclockwise rotation almost looks like a hurricane, but it's over the the Great Lakes, and this is what we call an extra tropical cyclone. It has the same rotation as a hurricane or a tropical storm, just happens in the mid latitudes. We are seeing some rain and snow showers come in still from the northwest, southern Michigan from Hillsdale and Lenaway towards Monroe County, seeing some light rain and snow. We'll say goodbye to the wind and to the rain and snow tomorrow. It is going to be a cold start to the day, but I can guarantee you some dry weather by lunchtime as Sunday sunshine returns and temperatures in the mid 40s into the afternoon hours. Temperatures will be in the lower 50s. A couple more clouds, but overall a much better way to wrap things up for the weekend. Again, winter coat out the door. Temperatures in the 30s as you begin your Sunday for that afternoon walk. It's going to be so nice outside. Temperatures in the low 50s. A much more calm day than it is today. Mid 50s will be possible to the south. If you head to one of those area metro parks, you may see a lot of down tree limbs and some twigs down due to the strong winds today. Now heading towards Monday, we are going to get that cooler east northeast lake breeze and that'll cut those temperatures down to the upper 30s to the lower 40s. It's going to be a cool and damp feeling day on Monday. Enjoy that sunshine that we have tomorrow. 53 degrees, your high temperature with calmer winds. Tuesday and Wednesday actually looking pretty good as well. I think Wednesday will be another pick outdoor day. Temperatures up in the lower 50s with sunny, pleasant and dry conditions. The spring showers return Thursday and into Friday. And unfortunately, I did have to keep in those showers for play ball on the Mud Hen season opener. Friday, a 60% rain chance, but some milder air working its way on through. There is the chance will be in the 50s, but you'll want your umbrella if you're headed to fifth third field in the next weekend. Temperatures stay seasonably mild with 50s on the board to end that 10 day forecast.